Can you imagine a structure with 10 meters in height made of volcano ashes? Historical ruins around the world help us to know about ancient cultures. Natural disasters, wars, depopulation, and also lack of maintenance, caused many important sites to fall and completely get deserted over time. The ruins in the world are very important to historians and archaeologists. In today's video stay curious because we are going to show you the top 10 most amazing ancient ruins of the world. If you are interested to know about those ancient sites, here we are to show you. Let's get underway. Coming at number 10, Pompeii. Near the Italian city of Naples, you may find the fascinating ruins of Pompeii. Mount Vesuvius, a volcano near the Bay of Naples in Italy, has erupted more than 50 times but its most famous eruption took place in the year 79 AD when the volcano buried the ancient Roman city of Pompeii under a thick carpet of volcanic ash. The dust poured across the land like a flood, one witness wrote, and shrouded the city in a darkness like the black of closed and unlighted rooms. 2,000 people died, and the city was abandoned. When a group of explorers rediscovered the site in 1748, they were surprised to find that underneath a thick layer of dust and debris, Pompeii was mostly intact. It had never been thoroughly excavated until two decades later though. So far, they have dug 22 of the original 66 hectares. The ruins of stone buildings, temples, bakeries, and even brothels are there. The buildings, Artifacts and skeletons left behind in the buried city have taught us a great deal about everyday life in the ancient world. You may go along the streets and picture the city as it was in its glorious day. Coming at number 9, Alora Caves. A collection of caves and monasteries, chapels and temples are made of the Alora Caves. Alora, with its uninterrupted sequence of monuments dating from AD 600 to 1000, extends over more than 2 kilometers and was dug side by side in the wall of a high basalt cliff, not far from Aurangabad in Maharashtra, India. Not only is the Alora complex a unique artistic creation and a technological exploit but, with its sanctuaries devoted to Buddhism, Hinduism, and Jainism, it illustrates the spirit of tolerance that was characteristic of ancient India. Only 34 caves out of 100 are publicly available. The rock cut activity was carried out in three phases from the 6th century to the 12th century. The earliest caves, Caves 1 to 12, excavated between the 5th and 8th centuries, reflect the Mahayana philosophy of Buddhism then prevalent in this region. The Brahmanical group of caves, caves 13 to 29, including the renowned Kailasa Temple, cave 16, was excavated between the 7th and 10th centuries. The last phase, between the 9th and 12th centuries, saw the excavation of a group of caves, caves 30 to 34, reflecting Jaina's philosophy. Coming at number 8, the Acropolis of Athens. The Acropolis of Athens is one of the most famous ancient archaeological sites in the world. It was built as the home of Athena, the patron goddess of the city. In the 5th century, the Acropolis was first occupied by Pericles but over the centuries, the Acropolis was many things, a home to kings, a citadel, a mythical home of the gods, a religious center and a tourist attraction. It has withstood bombardment, massive earthquakes and vandalism yet still stands as a reminder of the rich history of Greece. Today, it is a cultural UNESCO World Heritage Site and home to several temples, the most famous of which is the Parthenon. These antique constructions have been made of metal and pentelic marble, some of which have even been gold-plated. Restructuring is still underway so be not shocked to discover a pantry still there. A lot of the original objects have been moved to the Acropolis Museum so it is worth a visit. As the Parthenon rises in the spectacular sun, it is best visited at night or early in the morning. Coming at number 7, Bagan. Bagan is a fascinating temple town and a UNESCO World Heritage Site in the Mandalay region of Myanmar. During the 11th and 13th centuries, it was the capital of a strong kingdom with over 10,000 temples, monasteries, shrines, pagodas, and stupas. In the years since, the Mongol invasions, negligence and natural calamities have ruined these hallowed places. More than 3,500 ancient Buddhist pagodas, temples, and other religious structures occupy approximately 16 square miles of old Bagan within the larger Bagan archaeological zone. Most of the structures were built between 800 and 1,000 years ago when Bagan was a royal capital. In 2016, a magnitude 6.8 earthquake struck the region, damaging 185 of the ancient buildings. Restoration work continues, and new laws have been passed to help preserve the site, as well as manage the impact of increasing visitors to the popular tourist destination. While the archaeological zone of Bagan may be explored on foot, it is best seen from the air for its enormous volumes. A dream experience, worth mentioning, is riding a hot air balloon above Bagan. Coming at number 6, Maui statues. Many know them as the Easter Island heads. Even if you've never heard of them, you'll undoubtedly identify them from a photograph. There is a misconception from having seen photos of statues in the volcano Rano Ruraku partially covered up with soil. Truth is that all of these heads have full bodies. There are around 1,000 statues, 
made between 400 and 1500 AD, up to 86 tons in weight and 10 meters in height, though the average is around half of that. 95% of the Moais were carved from the volcano Rana or Raraku by the Rapa Nui people. This location was chosen since it consists of a great extent of tuff, which is what the Moais from this volcano consists of. Tuff is compressed volcanic ash and is easy to carve, which was necessary since the natives had no metal to carve with, but used only stone tools. Many ideas exist as to why they were made, including honoring prominent clan ancestors and the belief that it would improve the land. One of the biggest Easter Island mysteries is how Stone Age tribes could succeed in transporting 80-plus ton Moai statues kilometers across hilly terrain. There are several transportation theories, some of which are more generally accepted than others. Coming at number 5, Ayutthaya. Ayutthaya is a historical city that originated as a Khmer military and commercial station about the year 1350. It wasn't long until this bustling commercial harbor was transformed into Thailand's historic capital. It retained this status for four centuries until Burmese invaders burned it down. The Wat Pra Si Sanfet, a monastery on the grounds of the so-called Wang Luang, served as the royal chapel. The Chedi Si Suryotai is a monument to a famous queen who died in battle saving her husband, and Pramankan Bafit Sanctuary contains one of the world's largest seated images of the Buddha covered in some 375 pounds of gold. Exploring Ayutthaya's blend of Siamese, Sri Lankan, and Khmer architecture has been a popular day excursion from Bangkok since repairs began in the 1970s. Ayutthaya was added to UNESCO's World Heritage List in 1991. Coming at number 4, Mesa Verde. Mesa Verde National Park, with its remarkable collection of 600 ancient clifftop houses, is located deep in the American Southwest. The Cliff Palace, constructed inside a huge sandstone alcove that has sheltered it from the weather for almost seven centuries, is the most renowned of these homes. The palace was the largest of its sort in North America, with over 150 rooms and 23 holy kivas, unlike the rest of the houses, which only had a few rooms for domestic reasons. These unique cliffside settlements, which had been inhabited for almost a century, were abruptly abandoned in the 13th century. Nobody knows for sure why. Mesa Verde now has about 4,800 archaeological sites, some of which are available to the public, going back to 550 AD. Coming at number 3, Sigiriya. Sigiriya is a historic castle in Sri Lanka built into a 200-meter sheer rock face near Dambala. The intriguing remnants of an ancient civilization, considered to be the capital of the kingdom of Kasapa, may be found on top of what is today known as Lion Rock. It had a fortress, an upper palace, a mirror wall with magnificent colorful paintings, and a lion-shaped doorway in its heyday. The capital was abandoned after the emperor died, and until the 14th century, it was utilized as a Buddhist monastery. While the walk to the summit of Sigiriya is difficult for the weak of heart, the views of the water features, walls, terraced gardens, and cave shrines are well worth the time and effort. Coming at number 2, Colosseum. The Colosseum was an old gladiator arena and is one of the most famous Roman monuments. The 50,000-seater amphitheater, which was completed in 80 AD, was used to stage a variety of events. Animal battles and bloodthirsty gladiator competitions, in which competitors would fight to the death were amongst them. Even by today's standards, the Colosseum's architecture is magnificent. Three tiers of archways top the exterior walls, which are capped with Ionic, Doric, and Corinthian columns. They were once embellished with travertine and marble sculptures. The upper level used to be home to a massive sunshade that shielded spectators from the weather. Today, you may see the Colosseum on its own or combine it with a trip to the Roman Forum and Palatine Hill nearby. And finally number 1, Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu, one of the most famous towns of the old Incan Empire, is a major check off the list of places to visit. This ancient stronghold is hidden in Peru's hillsides. It was so cleverly kept that when Spanish conquerors arrived in the 1500s, they never discovered it. They were accidentally discovered in 1911, by an adventurer named Bingham. He was actually looking for Vilcabamba, another city. It's believed that 60% of the structure was built below, mostly for defense and drainage, making it a marvel of modern engineering. These ancient structures are only accessible by foot or rail nowadays. Don't miss the Machu Picchu Museum for a behind-the-scenes look at the Inca Empire's lost city. Don't forget to like and subscribe, also turn on the notification bell. Stay tuned and see you next time. No, wait I have a better idea, stay there and do check out our other cool stuff.